Hey folks, we're here for another uh, guitar lesson. Um, you can, if you look above me, up there, um, there's going to be the, uh, there should be a um, place where you can find your uh, tablature. There's a link up there. Let me just get back to where I'm supposed to be here so I can see what's going on. All right, so right above me, I'm going to be teaching uh, a lesson uh, from the great, uh, late great, Etta Baker. Um, this is one I, that she taught me when I had visited her home in North Carolina, in Morganton, North Carolina. And uh, um, anyway, uh, she taught me a bunch of tunes. I actually have video of her uh, when, I, when I visited her. And it was really kind of cool. You know, I shot the video right in her living room. If you want to say hi in the comment box, uh, I can see all your comments right down there. You can say howdy and where you're from. Uh, and if you need to download the tablature for today's lesson, it's in the link right above my head here. And also, uh, if you hit more, see more, I'm giving away lessons uh, for some of your donations. So um, right off the bat, uh, I want to thank a couple of people that actually donated. Um, uh, let's see, we have somebody sent me a message, Bob Horn. The I sent you in the messages. I sent you a link for the where you can pick up the tab, and also right above me on the Facebook page here. If you're looking at the video, right above me, you can download the tab at that at that um, at that website. Okay, so. That should take care of that. You should get that. I want to thank Paul Skeffington uh, for his donation and Jonathan Brown for his donation. I really do appre appreciate that. The links are not visible. I wonder why they're not visible. Uh, okay, so let's hit. Let's put them in the comment in the comment book uh, box. I don't know why. All right. Uh, here's the link for the uh, One Dime Blues. I just put that in there. And the link for uh, the donations, I'm going to put that in the comment box as well. So you can find that as well. Let's see. Let's get that in there. All right, Christian, thanks for letting me know. Um, got all of, the, uh, all of the links in there. I'm not sure why it's not above my head because everything was but then again this is Facebook so who knows what the heck's going on with Facebook um, but it's the only game in town right now so that's that's gonna be that's the, we're in their sandbox so we have to play it by their rules so you can download the tab and while you're downloading the tab um, I'm just like uh, getting to some of the uh, messages right now. Uh, get to Facebook. There's nowhere to click now. Uh, Bob, you should be able to click the in the in the comment box. In the comments, you're going to find uh, you're going to find it. Michael Schaefer, how are you? Mike's in Lancaster. Andreas, of course, he's from Germany. How are you today? Um, and again, if if you need the tab, I don't know why it's not above me. I'm seeing it in in. Uh, I'm seeing it on my Facebook page right now, so um, I'm not sure why it's not showing up. Uh, Christian, if you if above Toby, if you're not on full screen, oh okay, all right. So Rob, thanks. Glad you you made that clear. You have to be, I guess you have to be in full screen. Found it, Bob. Okay, good. You got it. Yay, yay. All right, I'm glad. I'm glad you got it. All right, cause. Uh, what will we do without that stuff, right? So, um, just want to tell you a little bit about what I'm giving away uh, in the donations. For a donation, uh, any donation would help me out right now. Um, I'm starting to book gigs now in the fall, and hopefully they won't fall through. Uh, COVID's still a bit unpredictable, but I think we're, we're seeing the sunshine soon, so that's going to be good. <laughs> Uh, anyway, for a donation, if you can donate $15, um, I just put this up on my Guitar Lesson website. Individual songs for sale. Uh, that's, that's right. I, there's a, like 59 of them so far. 
that that's up there for sale all by all different uh, blues artists. So that's up there for sale. Um, they're like ten bucks a piece, but if you donate fifteen dollars, you're going to get two of them. And you could take your choice of those. Uh, you're just going to shoot me an email, and all of that's in there. And uh, you're going to find out uh, all that good stuff. Uh, just shoot me an email and tell me which two uh, individual songs you'd like, and I'm going to shoot them out for you for a donation of 15 bucks. Um, Andreas, this is the 50th lesson of this kind. <laughs> How do you like that? Who knew? Michael, yeah, Godfrey Daniels. That's right. I'm going to be uh, in Godfrey Daniels um, in November. Uh, I, November 13th, I think it is, the second weekend of November, Godfrey Daniels out there in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Uh, Tom's here in Ohio. Oh, good. You've been wanting to dig into this one. Tom, you're going to get into it now. Uh, it's a really cool, cool tune uh, that I learned from Etta Baker. Uh, you know, she was on my hit list of people to visit, and uh, she was in Morganton, North Carolina. And uh, when I got there, I had already knew that she was really into gardening, you see, really into gardening. And uh, I had brought with me back then a Jack LaLanne centrifugal force juice machine. You know, it's things like it hums and it's loud. It's like a flying saucer if you threw it up, right? And uh, anyway, uh, we went to her garden in the backyard. And now, uh, if, you, if you don't know who Etta Baker is, Etta Baker is a, was a wonderful uh, finger-picking uh, guitar player. Sue from Seattle. You love Etta Baker, yeah. Uh, yeah, she's, she's just cool. And um, anyway, uh, she was kind of like discovered around the, in the mid-50s. And uh, she appeared on some uh, Southern Heritage uh, record or something like that uh, with a bunch of other people. And uh, Happy Traum put her and, uh, the, and the songs, a couple of the songs, Bully of the Town and another one, in his book, Finger Picking Styles for Guitar. And that's where I learned how to finger pick. So I was really excited about going to see Etta Baker. I mean, this she's in Morganton. And it was just so cool uh, to go and visit her. And uh, when I got there, we went in the back of the garden and she picked some cucumbers and some carrots and a few other things. And we went inside her kitchen and I took out this machine and she was just, you know, as they say in England, gobsmacked with this machine. She's my, my, my. And we, you know, I started it up and we're putting the cucumbers in, putting the carrots in, and the juice is coming out the side, you know, and she's just amazed. And it was a really hot day, you know, so this, you know, this, it was going into the glass and, uh, the glass had like a little sweat on the side of it. And I handed the, as I was handing the glass to her, it slipped out of my hand and it fell on the floor. Thank God, you know, the glass didn't break. She had a wooden or a little linoleum floor and it, it didn't break, but the juice went all over the place. So, uh, you know, we're cleaning it up and everything. And then she got down, we went into her living room and, and I uh, interviewed her. Uh, it's all on video I have. And, uh, uh, I asked her if she could teach me some tunes, and she was more than happy to do that. And the next day, uh, a, a, a film crew came out. They were doing a documentary on uh, the music from that area. And they had just came from Doc Watson's house, who didn't live too far away. And they were, boom, right there. Uh, matter of fact, if you look on the donation link, you're going to see a picture of me and Etta in her front yard, and we're playing music together. And one of the film crew, a photographer, took that picture. So, yeah, I'm not in the movie, but, you know, got the picture. Uh, so anyway, so years later, I call up Etta, uh, and I wanted to know how she was doing. And her sister told me that um, uh, she, she had just gotten out of the hospital, and uh, she put her on the phone. And I said, Etta, I don't know if you remember me. It was like several years ago when I visited your house. I'm Toby Walker. And she says, yeah, I know you. You're the boy that spilled the vegetable juice all over my floor. Yeah, we all get famous one way or another. Hey, Warren. <laughs> you learn this immediately after watching the video with her. Cool. Uh, so anyway, um, we're going to be doing uh, Etta Baker today. 
and uh, I'll play the tune and then um, we're going to get into it. Again, you can download the tab. Hopefully you got the tab by now. So that's what I'm going to teach you today. I'm going to teach you the one dime blues. Uh, Edna Baker uh, told me that she had, um, she started playing the guitar. I think it was her uncle that was teaching her the guitar when she was just like maybe, uh, she first held it, she said, when she was like maybe around three or four years old. And the uncle put the guitar in her hands and of course she would just flop around on the strings. But I thought that was pretty neat story that she that she told me about how she started learning you know I wonder what her uncle played right just imagine that uh, so here we go let's take a look if you have your tablature um, and uh, have your tablature that's going to be really great um, and let's just uh, get this here okay so we're going to start this out with taking your third finger and your pinky and putting it out the third finger is on the um, well let me shut this phone get it quiet here get all the kind of stuff we have contractors coming in and all kinds of stuff um, you're gonna get your third finger on the third string at the fourth fret and your pinky on the first string at that G sharp note on the first string of the fourth fret so what you're gonna do is I kind of like slide this up so I slide my third finger while I'm grabbing my sixth string. Now while I'm there, that's the first beat of that measure, I'm going to add my pinky onto that G sharp and grab the third and first string. So I have like that. And at this point, I'm going to now put my first finger down on the B note. It's a bit of a stretch. So I have this grabbing the fifth string, first string, third string then. Now you're gonna after that you're going to get in the in the in the uh, next measure, you're gonna get over your second thing up to that second finger onto the C sharp, and keeping these fingers down. So you're forming that little bit of a chord there with the C sharp, the B, and the G sharp. And you're going to go, you're going to hit that, uh, you're going to pick up your pinky rather, and you're going to go like that. So grab the fifth string and the first string, then come down and grab the third string. Then bring that back, and you're going to hit the same group of notes, fifth string, first string, and then third string. So it's just like that. All right, so let me make sure I can see the comments. Anyone said anyone needs to see comments? Okay, and so all together, that first measure is going to sound like this. Just like that. 
And now you're going to, into the third measure, you're going to come into your E chord. Now the way Etta played it, I was playing it like a standard E chord. Etta just used her second finger, which you can get away with. You know, you could use that. Uh, that's fine. But I have this, I'll play this second measure, the third measure for you. Do that again. So I started off with two E notes. I come down with my thumb on the fourth string. And then right after that, I'm going to pick up my first finger and I'm going to hit the open third string. And as I hammer that down onto the first fret, my thumb comes in and grabs the open uh, sixth string. So we have, so all together it's, now right after that hit the open second string, so we have, then thumb on the fourth string, and then open E, so it's, When I hit that, when I hit that um, that last E note, the next measure I'm going to be adding my pinky onto the second string at the third fret, creating an E7 chord. So I have get that alternating bass going on. So that whole first line is going to sound like this. Now after that, I'm going to be coming in with my A7 chord. This is your second line. You're going to play the A7 like this with your second and third finger, but you're going to start it here at the first fret. I'm going to go back and forth between my fifth and fourth string and I'm going to move this up. So let's listen to this next measure. That's, so that's these strings need to be changed. So I start off pinching the fifth and second string, move that up and pinch this fourth and second string, then open first, then I'm going to add my pinky to that high G note on the third uh, on the third fret on the E on the E string. I'm going to pinch that again back and forth with the fifth string. That's your timekeeper. So I have G. Move your pinky back, tuck it under the third finger, get that F sharp. Then open. Then C sharp. So it's so altogether that A is going to sound like this. Now you're going to come back to your E chord again, and you're going to do the same thing that we did uh, on the third and fourth measure of the first line. So it's. We're going to do, <laughs> basically on the third line, it's just like the second line. Uh, so we have. Now right after this, we're going right back into our sliding like the basically in that first in that first line the 
only difference is when we're coming into that back to that E chord, we're not coming into a seventh. It's just. So Eddie used to would play this, you know, back and forth. Um, basically you know the one dime blues but there's another little part in there which which I think is 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 really really cool um, and uh, I want to thank Andreas for his donation and Christian uh, thank you so much uh, for your donation uh, all those thank you, thank you and I'll be sending your stuff out um, so that's basically you know the, I think the toughest thing here is getting that keeping these two fingers here and getting that 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 uh, B note in here um, that you know what you really have to do is if your thumb is behind that you know obviously behind the uh, behind the neck you have to really kind of bring that thumb right my thumb is actually coming down if you know if you can see my hand like this it's coming down into the middle of the neck and that that lets my uh, that gives me my wrist comes in bends and that gives me the stretch that I need in order to get that that so that's a really that's a real important uh, technique to to be able to master is not only grabbing your guitar like this but also grabbing it like this um, I find, and you don't have to do this, I find that holding my guitar like this really kind of helps because it, it, it brings the guitar in a little closer. If you ever watched Bill Wyman of the Rolling Stones playing the bass, he had the bass up here. And for him, it was just easier. Uh, classical players play it like this too. You don't necessarily have to do that. As long as you're getting that wrist out like this, you'll be, you know, you're going to be just fine. So now let's take a look at the next part because this this next part it can be you know it it definitely it can be uh, without a doubt it can be a bit tricky. So let's take a look at this. The first thing we're going to do is we're not going to be playing the bass. So don't worry about the bass. I want you to listen to look at the shapes that I'm going to be playing first because that's a way to start this next part. If you're looking at it's a little piece of an E chord. Our second finger is on the second string at the fifth fret. Our first finger is on the first string on the fourth fret. A little bit of an E chord there. So we have the root and the major third. Okay, those two notes right there. Now we're starting it off here, and then we're going to add our pinky to the high B note. So we're going to be adding the fifth in there. So you have that little movement. The next, the next little spot you're going to do is you're going to move to the next shape where your first finger's on the A and your third finger's on the F sharp. And you're going to be adding your pinky here. So you got this one. And then now the first string, I'm mean, second string to first string. And then stretch your pinky. Then second string to first string again pinky on the same B note then you're going to be coming moving this shape up here and then using your pinky and then moving your pinky to the hot to the tenth fret those are the little shapes that you're going to have to uh, make now the timing
And I'll do that again. Second string, first string, back and forth. And I'm using my first finger on that second string and my middle finger on the first string. Now I'm moving it up. Moving it up again. Now I'm getting that. And then. D, C sharp, pick it up, get the B, and then to the G sharp. So now the timing here is, I'd say the timing here is very important, okay? So if I'm, if I'm, da, 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 da. Now if I keep my bass going, you can hear. So that's, that's tricky, is to keep the bass going. You don't have to keep the bass going. I kind of like putting the bass in. Etta Baker didn't put the bass in. She just played those little notes, but the timing is crucial. Uh, so if you if you can hear the timing of the... So there's the beat. Okay, so it's kind of kind of an interesting little timing there to, to get that and then once you once you work on that part and get that little part it's it's really really quite syncopated but it, it's the beauty of that one song you go right back to It's really a cool little a cool little piece. You know, I would really advise, you know, listening to Etta Baker, listening to her uh, play this tune. Uh, you know, it's it's all over the place. Uh, you can listen on Spotify or any of these uh, iTunes or Apple Music, all that kind of stuff. You'll 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 hear this, uh, or if you have her CD or me, if you actually have her LP. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, so that's the open. That's the um, the one dime blues is as she taught it to me you know step by step you know we did we did the filming and after the filming um i asked her you know could you could you teach me a couple of songs and she was like well sure and you know she taught me those those tunes here's another cool thing in the book uh finger picking good styles for guitar by happy Traum, there's a picture of etta baker holding this solid body butterscotch Gibson electric guitar okay she was far from just traditional matter of fact when I was over her house she was playing a, a red Takamine guitar plugged into an amplifier in her living room okay so those of you that need to go out and buy those vintage guitars that's your choice Etta didn't use one but I showed her the picture of that of that uh, on in the book, I said, "Look, look, look at that guitar that you were playing back then." And she went, "Wait a minute!" And then she went into her bedroom and came out with the same guitar in the picture from 1956. Is that cool or what? I was, I was just, I couldn't believe it. So anyway, that that was kind of cool. She didn't plug that in, but it, you know, and then she put it back and, and all kinds of cool stuff. Anyway, so um, it's a short lesson today, but the tablature is up on the website, and this this um, will be this movie will be on Facebook uh, for at least about five or six days. Uh, then what I do is I download it, I put it up on um, my Patreon site. So the Patreon members um, get to see that. And I also put it on my Premiere 
membership site. And I want to just tell you before you leave about the premier membership uh, for $50, uh, and that's reduced from $125. For $50, uh, work, um, I give you a whole year's access to every lesson, uh, just about every lesson that I've ever put out. Uh, there's video instructions, there's, there's tab, there's notation, there's, there's a whole section on really cool guitars. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different things on there. There's weekly workouts that you can do each week to improve your skills, and that's for $50, um, but it's a whole year's worth of, of whatever you want to work on. And it goes from beginning to advanced, so I think that's, that's pretty cool. And the last thing I want to tell you is that um, uh, you can see Warren in the um, in the comment box. Warren uh, had a great idea, and actually a good friend of mine had mentioned this before. Warren about paying it forward. So what um, what I think what we're going to do is we're going to be giving away giving away um, a year's membership to the premier uh, to the premier site. We're going to be giving that away. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to be giving it to anyone that's either a veteran or had served uh, in the armed forces. So uh, we're going to be doing that. I don't know how we're going to set that up yet, but we're going to we're going to set that up, and uh, we're going to be giving away two memberships to anybody that's in the service or if you were in the service, um, because. I don't know. We just feel that that's the right thing, and I think it was a great idea from Warren. Thank you very much, Warren, for that idea. Um, I think that's pretty much it tonight. I'm going to be doing a concert in uh, my studio, and uh, I'm going to be playing all kinds of cool tunes. I'm going to play my Hudson Dalton, and I'm going to play in that 1930 uh, National Triolian. So that should be kind of. If you can tune in, it'll be 7 p.m. tonight, right here on Facebook. Um, I want to thank I want to thank everybody uh, for your donations. That I really do appreciate that. Um, it all it all is wonderful. I really do appreciate your donations. Uh, and it, and said this will be up on Facebook for a while, so you can always view the lesson. And uh, if you if if anyone uh, hasn't donated, if you feel like donating sometime days later, uh, that would really help. Uh, finally, last thing is I am booking in the Northeast, uh, United States, uh, now into, I'm booking in, in August and October, um, I think it's September 2, uh, and um, August, September, and October. Uh, I've got some dates already in there, um, November is kind of filled up, uh, but anyway, I'm booking now into December. If you want to have a house concert, uh, you want to have me come in for a house concert? That'll be a lot of really cool house concert. You may even have want to have a guitar workshop in your house. You know, get your friends that play guitar. We can do all of that stuff. If you know a good club or something that you'd like to see me at, you could certainly t uh, turn that. You know, turn me on to the club. And matter of fact, tell the club owner, hey, you know, there's this guy, and that usually helps before I get in touch with them. So I am now booking for the fall, and let's just hope that we're on the other end of this whole crazy thing, uh, and uh, the sun is finally shining upon all of us. I want you all to stay safe, and uh, there's going to be all kinds of surprises coming up in the future, folks. So again, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, this is always my pleasure. I love teaching, and I love uh, performing, and I love coming up with new lessons. So take care, everybody. Uh, Michael, you're very welcome. Warren, you're very welcome. Uh, and uh, and again, you know, thanks thanks for the donations coming in. Uh, it all helps quite a bit. Uh, Sue, you got three whole uh, live lessons coming to you, so we have to book that. Sue, uh, we'll get to you. I'll you know shoot you an email, and we'll go back and forth. I do. I do teach on Skype and Zoom private lessons, so there's always that. All right, folks, take care, and um, I'll see you hopefully uh, in the future. Take care now.